It's the Russell Bigley Gym here at W here at uh, here at Teal College. Excuse me. This is WCYJFM Waynesburg, Pennsylvania. I'm Nicholas Callis. He's Jared Weicker. This is women's basketball in the President's Athletic Conference again on WCYJFM. We've got a couple of teams toward the bottom of the President's Athletic Conference. Waynesburg in seventh place of nine teams with a four and ten conference record and a five and eight overall record, and then Teal College is in ninth place of nine teams in the President's Athletic Conference, 0-14 in conference, 0-23 overall. Both of these teams are around the bottom seating of the playoffs. Teal right now is, if the season ended today, would not be in playoffs. The top eight teams in women's basketball make it to playoffs. Teal still with an opportunity to get into the postseason, however, if, uh, if a couple of, <laughs> of aspects uh, of gaming uh, this Wednesday and this Saturday uh, go in its favor. Teal would need a win today against Waynesburg to get one conference win under its belt and would have to beat Geneva on Saturday to pass Geneva in the standings and that's assuming that Geneva wouldn't win on Saturday but uh, at the moment right now Teal there's still an opportunity where it could make playoffs. Waynesburg however is pretty much essentially in the playoffs already with, a, uh, with four wins uh, in the conference. Uh, it's just a matter of where it'll be seated. Uh, potentially could be seated sixth with Bethany uh, with a five and nine conference record, uh, but could also uh, move down to eighth if Geneva could win uh, a game today and a game on Saturday. Here's the tip off now. Starters for both teams will be announced as Brooke Fuller wins the tip off. It's Brooke Fuller, Ali Delaney, Andrea Orlowski, Aaron Joyce, and Anika Dansby starting for Waynesburg. Pass from Orlowski inside from the right wing. Brooke Fuller inside will try to put up a basket. That's no good. Rebound by rebound by Andrew Orlowski was put up, and that's no good, but it's rebounded, and now Emily Harriman takes it across court for Teal. So Teal starters, Emily Harriman, Rachel Breckenridge, Colleen Trainer, Courtney Harriman, and Indea Phillips. Rachel Breckenridge with the top of the key, hands off to Emily Harriman. Harriman hands off to the top of the key, where Courtney Harriman will pass out to Breckenridge at the top of the key. Breckenridge. Over to Harriman, inside to Trainer, out to the right wing where Breckenridge will take a shot from three land. That's no good. And it's rebounded by Waynesburg. So here's Allie Delaney with it now on the left wing. Pass to the top of the key, and Ika Dansby has it for Waynesburg. Nine minutes left in this first quarter. No score between Waynesburg and Teal College in women's basketball. Pass inside, Brooke Fuller puts it up. It rolls around the rim for a second, but then goes through. Brooke Fuller scores the first points of the game for either side. It's 2-0, Waynesburg University leads Teal College. Emily Harriman takes it back across court. Eight minutes, 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Harriman, top of the key, bounce pass inside. There's Phillips. Phillips to the right wing corner. To Breckenridge, who dribbles in a little bit and shoots a ball from the right elbow and makes it off the backboard. That's good. Two points for Breckenridge. It's now 2-2, two two. Waynesburg and Teal tied. Aaron Joyce at the right wing for Waynesburg. Pass across court to the left wing corner. Well, Ali Delaney will drive the left baseline and she'll shoot it off the backboard. And that'll go through. About a five-foot shot goes through for Allie Delaney, her first two points of the game. It's 4-2, to two, Waynesburg leads Teal. This is women's basketball. Colleen Trainer with it, pass inside to Courtney Harriman out of the left wing corner where Rachel Breckenridge will drive to the left baseline. And as she passed it out to Courtney Harriman at the left wing, a, a foul is reported. Foul caught on Teal. Colleen Trainer hit with a foul, her first personal. And that's Teal's first team foul of the quarter. And he could dance, he takes it back across court. Brooke Fuller now with it at the top of the key to Dansby. With the right wing, I correct myself. Rachel Breckenridge was called with the foul. And now a pass to Allie Delaney at the top of the key. And she shot a three that hit nothing. It goes out of bounds past the middle of the baseline. And Teal will gain possession. Seven minutes, 45 seconds left in the first quarter. It's Waynesburg University four, Teal College two. Drive in now by Colleen Trainer from the top of the key, and a whistle stops play with 7.38 left in the first quarter. Foul was caught on Waynesburg University's Brooke Fuller. That's her first personal. That's Waynesburg's first team foul of the quarter. And two shots will be awarded to Teal. First shot's up and good. Uh, no good by Colleen Trainer. Trainer at the line, entering play, 54%. She's a 5'8 sophomore. Second shot goes up, and that's good. First point for Colleen Trainer. Made on one of two free throws. It's now 4-3. Waynesburg still leading Teal. 
Full court press now by Teal and Ika Dansby running away from trouble and she'll pass it out to Orlowski. And now across court comes Aaron Joyce who received the pass from Orlowski and Waynesburg will reset at the top of the key. Dansby pass in. Andrew Orlowski. Orlowski further pass into the paint. A drive by Brooke Fuller. She shoots it from the right baseline. That's no good, but a rebound came by Andrew Orlowski and she put it up off the backboard and that's good. Andrew Orlowski with her first two points. Waynesburg has three total scores now and it's six to three. Waynesburg leads Teal with seven minutes left in the first quarter. Here's Emily Harriman drives the left lane and she didn't finish her shot. So she'll pass it back out to Colleen Trainer at the left wing down to the top of the key. There's Breckenridge back to the left wing. There's Emily Harriman who drives across court and passes out to the top of the key where Courtney Harriman will take a three pointer and it goes off the far side of the rim, no good. And rebounded by Brooke Fuller who passes to Anika Dansby, and Dansby will take it across court. She's at the right wing, pass inside. Brooke Fuller will take a shot from the foul line. It's off the front of the rim, no good. Rebounded, though, by Andrew Orlowski. She, she tries to put it up. That's no good. It rolls off the right side of the rim. And Waynesburg got another rebound. And, and a buzzer goes off, stopping play with 6 minutes, 26 seconds. And there were so many Waynesburg players who were shooting that ball. And the scorer's table needs some help figuring out who it was. Andrew Orlowski was down there for Waynesburg along with Brooke Fuller and Aaron Joyce all under the hoop. And we got to figure out who made that basket. But right now it's 8-3. to three. Waynesburg leads Teal in this women's basketball game. Six minutes, 26 seconds left in the first quarter. And speaking of rebounds, uh, a couple of the Waynesburg Yellow Jackets that were down there uh, have some of the highest rebound totals uh, this season. Brooke Fuller averaging 7.9 rebounds per game and Andrew Orlowski was down there as well has the second most rebounds on the team uh, average I should say with 7.3 rebounds per game. So I mean uh, th this happened frequently uh, when they played each other earlier in the season. Waynesburg and Teal played each other earlier in the season back on January the 18th and it was Teal was just giving up too many third chance points. You've heard of second chance points, haven't you, Jared? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, <laughs> they were giving up third and sometimes fourth, and now Teal players shooting at the line. It looks like it is Rachel Breckenridge, and she's shooting alone with no contest. She made two free throws. And now it's eight to five, but a technical foul was called on, on Waynesburg as a team. And that's the only reason why a player would get to shoot two free throws like that uncontested. So Teal gets two free throws. Rachel Breckenridge made both of them. And now Teal gets possession back. Emily Harriman takes it across court. Pass to Colleen Trainer over to the right wing corner. Rachel Breckenridge will dribble to the top of the key where she'll hand off to Emily Harriman. Harriman gets a screen, tries to drive the left lane, can't do it though. She'll pass over to Phillips though on the left wing corner who tries to drive the left baseline and it's stolen by Brooke Fuller on the right side of the baseline. She'll hand off to Ali Delaney, takes it across court. Delaney will hand off to Nika Dansby at the left wing. Now inside the paint to Andrew Olosky, who had the ball tipped away by Colleen Trainer, and then stolen by Emily Harriman. Now here's Rachel Breckenridge, gets a pass to the left wing. She takes a long two, that's no good. Rebounded though by Indea Phillips. And she puts it from the right lane off the backboard into the basket. She's got her first two points. And now it's eight to seven. Teal's still trailing Waynesburg. Five and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Nika Dansby, top of the key. Dansby, bounce pass to the right wing. There's Aaron Joyce inside to Brooke Fuller in the paint. She'll put it up off the backboard and good. Brooke Fuller has four, and Waynesburg is, now, is trailing 10 to seven against Teal. I think I misspoke on the score before, but it's 10 to seven, Teal leads Waynesburg. No, no, it's the other way around. Waynesburg's the guest today. 10 to seven, Waynesburg leads Teal. Here's Courtney Harriman driving the right lane. She passed it out to Colleen Trainer, then passed it back to her. She took a three from the right wing, and that was no good. It hit nothing. And Waynesburg got the rebound. Now Nika Dansby from the right wing. That's good for three. And Nika Dansby with her first three points of the game, and now it's 13 to seven. Waynesburg leads Teal. Taking it back across court is Teal now. It's Emily Harriman, top of the key. Harriman will hand off to Indea Phillips over to Colleen Trainer. Now still at the top of the key, pass to the left wing corner. Where Rachel Breckenridge will shoot a three uncontested. And she makes it. Rachel Breckenridge leads. Teal scores with seven points and now a quick transition by Waynesburg. Anika Dansby tried to hit Brooke Fuller inside the paint, but 
And Nika Dansby threw it over the head of Brooke Fuller. It went out of bounds past the left baseline, so Teal will get a throw in. And with that, some substitutions into the game for both teams. Neela Jones comes into the game for Teal in place of Dea Phillips. Also, Destiny Merriweather is coming to the game for Teal. For Waynesburg, Casey Castrol and Elena McDermott have entered the game. Neela Jones with the top of the key, hands off to Colleen Trainer. Trainer over to the left wing corner where Rachel Breckenridge will try to drive, but she doesn't get anywhere. Now Colleen Trainer makes a move as she got a pass at the top of the key. She drove the right lane, but she missed the layup off the right side of the rim. Waynesburg with the rebound. Here's Aaron Joyce coming across court. She'll try to finish all by herself, and a whistle blows stopping play with 3.49 left in the first quarter. Waynesburg up 13 to 10 over Teal, and a foul called on Destiny Merriweather of Teal. It was a shooting foul. That's her first personal foul. That's Teal's second team foul of the quarter. And with that, another substitution for Waynesburg coming into the game. It's Leighton Croft coming in for Andrea Orlowski. And because of the Desti Destiny Merriweather shooting foul, Aaron Joyce will go to the line and shoot two. First one's up, and it's off the left side of the rim. No good. Aaron Joyce entering play. Shooting 65% from the free throw line. Second shot's up. That one's in and out of the net. No good. Rebounded by Colleen Trainer of Teal. And play resumes with 3.45 left in the first quarter. Waynesburg leads by three. Top of the key, there's Courtney Harriman. She'll hand off to Destiny Merriweather. Now to the top of the key where Rachel Breckenridge dribbled and passed to the left wing. And then... Harriman passed across court inside a jump shot from about seven feet away on the right side of the court by Destiny Merriweather was good. She's got two points now. It's 13 to 12. Waynesburg still leading Teal. Quick transition to offense by Waynesburg. Pass inside to Brooke Fuller's in and out of the net and rebounded by Teal. And here comes Neela Jones across court. Courtney Harriman, top of the key. She's trying to dribble around Elena McDermott, but she can't do it. Now a couple passes later. Neela Jones will take a three from the left wing. That's no good. Brooke Fuller, standing at six foot, gets the rebound for Waynesburg. And she is the rebounds per game leader on this Waynesburg team. Pass inside to Aaron Joyce. Was successful, but then she tried to bounce pass it to Casey Castro in the paint, and that went, on, uh, and that went no good. Castro couldn't corral the pass, and it went on the bounce past the right baseline. So it'll be a throw in for Teal. Two minutes, 45 seconds left. In this first quarter, it's 13 to 12. Waynesburg leads Teal in this women's basketball game. Neela Jones on the top of the key. We'll pass over to the right wing corner and now Teal with some aggressive ball movement. Neela Jones gets it back at the top of the key. Over to Courtney Harriman on the left wing. To Neela Jones, top of the key, dribbles inside the paint, tries for a layup off the backboard. That's no good. And it's rebounded by Brooke Fuller of Waynesburg. Two minutes, 20 seconds up in the first quarter. Here's Elena McDermott over to Leighton Croft to the right wing. Croft. Will dribble, dribble, now she's being double teamed. Courtney Harriman, one of the players for Teal. Croft tried to get a pass into Brooke Fuller, but it was tipped by Destiny Merriweather, and then officially stolen by Neela Jones, who takes it across down by the far sideline, and now she'll pass it across court into the left wing, where Rachel Breckenridge tried to drive from the left wing to the hoop, and she missed the shot, but a foul was called on the play. Leighton Croft got hit with a foul on defense, her first personal. That's Waynesburg's second team foul of the quarter. And Rachel Breckenridge is the one driving, so she'll go to the line to shoot two after the shooting foul. She already has seven points, two of which came from the free throw line, and one of which was a three-pointer. First one's up and good. Breckenridge with eight points. Second shot's up, and second shot's good. Breckenridge now with nine points. And Teal has taken the lead over Waynesburg. It's 14-13, but Waynesburg with a quick transition to offense. Leighton Croft tried to force a drive up the right lane, and she didn't get a good shot off. It was no good. Rebounded by Teal. Now Teal quickly transitions to offense. Emily Harriman, top of the key. Harriman inside. There's Colleen Trainer drives the right lane, and her shot blocked by Leighton Croft. Went out of bounds past the right baseline. Teal will get the throw in because of the block. Teal still on its offensive side. Pass in from Emily Harriman to Destiny Merriweather from about 13 feet away. That's no good, but Destiny Merriweather got her own rebound inside the paint. She made a basket off the backboard. Merriweather with four points. 
And now Teal leads Waynesburg 16 to 13 in this women's basketball game. Pass to the left wing corner where Brianna uh, Hoops missed the shot from the left wing corner. Rebounded though by Waynesburg, Andrew Orlowski got a pass inside. And as she tried to drive, the shot was missed, but a whistle stops play with one minute, 18 seconds left in this first quarter. At 16-13, Teal leads Waynesburg in this women's basketball game. Foul called on Colleen Trainer of Teal. Her first personal, that's Teal's third team foul of the quarter. And Andrew Orlowski was the one fouled after trying to shoot, so she'll go to the line for two. She already has two points in this game today. First one's up, and that's good. Orlowski entering play was 70% from the free throw line. Second shot's up by Orlowski, and that's good. If I correct myself, Andrew Orlowski, that was her first two points of the game on those two free throws. Waynesburg still leading 16-15. The shot goes up and it's off the front of the rim by Courtney Harriman from about seven feet away on the right side of the court, rebounded by Waynesburg. Less than a minute left in the first quarter now. A pass from Casey Castro in the paint to Andrew Orlowski and she made the shot but a whistle stops play with 53 seconds left. in this first quarter. The basket counts for Andrew Orlowski. So she has four points now and she'll shoot the end one and that's good. The foul on Teal was on Bailey Greger. Her first team, uh, her first personal foul that steals fourth team foul of the quarter and five fouls automatically moves a women's team at a double bonus time. That's the rules in NCAA. Courtney Harriman at the top of the key tries to dribble around Elena McDermott, gets a screen, drives the right lane she didn't have an opening though, so she'll pass out to Neela Jones at the right wing who tries a three, and that's no good, uncontested by either team. Waynesburg just lets it go out of bounds past the left baseline, so Waynesburg will get a throw in, 30 seconds left in the first quarter. McDermott, pass to Orlowski on the left wing. Inside, Casey Castro off, high off the backboard, that's no good, rebounded though by Phillips, who's newly entered into the game for Teal. And he, uh, Dea Phillips got the start in this game today. And has come back in. He was trying to move the ball, but Brooke Fuller tipped it and went out of bounds past the far sideline. So Teal will get a throw in. Teal up two points on Waynesburg, 18 to 16 in the concluding moments of this first quarter. Here's Emily Harriman, drives the left lane being guarded by Brianna Hoops. Makes a move, puts it off the backboard, but that's no good. Orlowski with the rebound, and as Orlowski got the rebound, Buzzer blows, signifying the end of the first quarter. It's 18 to 16, Waynesburg leads Teal at the end of one quarter. Some summaries for you from team statistics, or from a team statistics standpoint. Waynesburg from the field, 43% as compared to Teal's 31%. Rebounds, Waynesburg. 13 rebounds, Teal 8 rebounds, and turnovers. Waynesburg has four turnovers compared to Teal's two, and these are two teams that have not done well at keeping possession of the ball. Waynesburg averaging 19.7 turnovers per game, and Teal averaging 24.5 rebounds per game. Scoring summary after the first quarter. Start with Teal. Rachel Breckenridge, lead scorers with nine points. Destiny Merriweather has four. And Dave Phillips has two. Colleen Trainer made one of two free throws. She stuck at one point for Waynesburg. Leading scorers on the team. Brooke Fuller has eight points at the end of one quarter. Andrew Olasi with five. After making uh, successfully making three free throws. And scored an extra one on an and one and she made one basket outside of the free throw line. Anika Dansby made a three pointer. She's got three points and then Allie Delaney has two. Neela Jones from the left wing 
That was a three-pointer that doesn't go in, and it's rebounded by Waynesburg University. Elena McDermott. Dribbling at the top of the key, tries to drive the left lane. She can't do it, though. She'll kick out to Brianna Hoops at the left wing. That's no good. She can't drive, so it'll be passed out, and then back into Brooke Fuller, who hits it off the front of the rim. No good. Rebounded by Emily Harriman of Teal. Just entering the second quarter of this women's basketball game between Teal and Waynesburg. Neela Jones, top of the key. Jones dribbles the right lane, and she'll put up a shot, a layup that's no good off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Waynesburg. Here comes Elena McDermott across court to the right wing corner. Casey Castro for three. No good off the back side of the rim. Rebounded by Andrew Orlowski, though. She'll kick it back out to the top of the key where Castro has it now. Castro dribbling over to Elena McDermott, top of the key, being guarded by Neela Jones. Nine minutes left in the second quarter. It's 18 to 16. Waynesburg leads Teal. Over to the left wing. There's Brianna Hoops for three. That's off the right side of the rim, no good. And that attempted rebound by Neela Jones is unsuccessful. It hit off her chest and went on a bounce past the center of the baseline. So Waynesburg will get a throw in. Eight minutes, 51 seconds left in the second quarter. It's 18 to 16. Waynesburg leads Teal in this President's Athletic Conference women's basketball game. Elaine McDermott bounce pass in. Brooke Fuller tries to force a shot, and she does. A layup that didn't need backboard assistance. Brooke Fuller already at 10 points, and it's 20 to 16. Waynesburg leads with eight minutes, 40 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Emily Harriman, top of the key. Harriman drives the left lane. Being guarded tightly up by Brianna Hoops, and she tries to pass it out, but it's swatted and stolen by Andrew Orlowski, trying to drive the full length of the court up the right lane. That's no good. Off the backboard, off the left side of the rim, and then rebounded by Teal. Teal takes it back the other way. Emily Harriman tries to drive the paint, can't do it, though, so she'll pass it out to her sister, Courtney Harriman, who tries a three from the left wing, and that's off the front of the rim, and then rebounded by Brooke Fuller of Waynesburg. And Waynesburg takes it back the other way. Quick transition to offense. Ali Delaney, open three, hits off the right side of the rim, and that's no good. And finally, a stoppage in play. Eight minutes, two seconds left in the second quarter. It's 2016. Waynesburg leads Teal, and with that, some substitutions coming for both sides. Colleen Trainer and Destiny Merriweather coming to the game for Teal. And re-entering the game for Waynesburg, it's Anika Dansby and Aaron Joyce. Here's Emily Harriman, top of the key. Harriman to Destiny Merriweather, who passes out to Colleen Trainer on the left wing corner. Rachel Breckenridge back to the top of the key. A long two from Emily Harriman, no good. She took about a 20-foot shot from the top of the key, and now Waynesburg trying to transition to offense. Had a pass intended for Allie Delaney, but it was tipped away by Emily Harriman. A diving tip at that down by the far sideline. It went out of bounds off of Harriman, so Waynesburg will get a throw in. Inbounded by Aaron Joyce by that far sideline. She'll inbound it to Anika Dansby. Dansby inside, there's Aaron Joyce. Joyce over to Delaney, off the backboard is Delaney from the left side of the baseline, and that's good. Allie Delaney, four points now in the game, her first two of the second quarter. It's 22-16, Waynesburg leads Teal with 7.20 left in the second quarter, and this is women's basketball. Emily Harriman at the top of the key was dribbling. She got a screen, drove the left lane, and she put up a basket off the backboard. That's good. Emily Harriman, her first two points. 22-18, Waynesburg leads. Allie Delaney gets a pass on the quick transition to offense, and if Delaney put up the shot, a whistle stops play. Delaney called with an offensive foul. Delaney, her first personal foul of the game. That's Waynesburg's first team foul of the quarter. And with seven minutes, five seconds left in the second quarter, it's 22-18. Waynesburg leads still in this women's basketball game. Emily Harriman dribbles across court. She's at the top of the key over to Colleen Trainer in the left wing corner. There's Courtney Harriman who will pass across court to the right wing. Emily Harriman has it now. Harriman gets a screen, tries to dribble at the top of the key, but she can. Hands off to her sister Courtney Harriman at the top of the key, and Courtney Harriman puts up a shot, a layup from the left lane. That's no good, but it's rebounded by Destiny Merriweather. Merriweather at the right wing has it. Over to Courtney Harriman to Emily Harriman. Top of the key is Harriman. Harriman dribbling, dribbling, trying the left lane, being guarded by Delaney. Will pass out to the corner where Colleen Trainer from the left wing will take a three. And that's no good. It's off the right side of the rim. And then nobody got the rebound. It bounced a couple times before almost going out of bounds past the right baseline. Someone tried to save it for Teal, but could not do it. It goes out of bounds past the far sideline. Waynesburg inbounds and transitions back to offense. And Aiken Dantry from the top of the key passes into Brooke Fuller. Fuller tries to put up a shot. But she couldn't do it. Brooke Fuller was had an attempted block from Destiny Merriweather. Fuller hesitated because Merriweather had her hands up and Fuller jumped and then stopped trying to make that layup. She got called for a travel. So possession moves the other way. Teal now transitioning to offense. 
Here's Destiny Merriweather, top of the key, hands off. To Colleen Trainer at the left wing. Now here's a pass into the paint where Rachel Breckenridge tried to drive, but she missed her shot. Rebounded, though, by Destiny Merriweather. And Merriweather tried to put up a layup, and that was no good. Rebounded by Allie Delaney inside now. Quick transition offense by Waynesburg. Andrew Orlowski inside trying to make a layup. She missed her first, got her own rebound, and then Andrew Orlowski made the second of two attempts. She's got seven points now, her first two points of the quarter. Waynesburg now leads steal 24-18 with five minutes, 18 seconds left in the second quarter. Colleen Trainer with the top of the key being guarded by Aaron Joyce. Colleen Trainer dribbles inside, bounce pass to the right baseline where Destiny Merriweather couldn't make the shot, hit it off the backboard. That's no good. Waynesburg again gets a rebound and a quick transition to offense where Ali Delaney from the left wing misses a three and Teal gets a rebound. And with that, a timeout called by Rob Clune, the head coach of Teal College, and he calls a full timeout with five minutes left in this second quarter. Teal College in gray jerseys with white numbers and Waynesburg University with black jerseys and orange numbers. Waynesburg 24, Teal 18 in this women's basketball game. Jared, do you have any thoughts on this one so far? <laughs> well, Brooke Fuller with 10 points already in the second quarter, off to a great start for the Yellow Jackets. And uh, for the Teal Tomcats, Rachel Breckenridge, nine points so far with five minutes left in the second quarter, also off to a hot start. So both, both these players will certainly need to keep producing for both teams. Teal only down by six uh, right now to Waynesburg. So uh, that's definitely a positive considering uh, earlier in the season, Waynesburg defeated Teal 90 to, 93 to 40. Yeah, and this Teal team has had some success more recently than the standing show. Back on February the 5th, Teal took Bethany College to overtime. That was, again, back on February the 5th on a Wednesday. And Bethany is the sixth place team in the conference. Took them to overtime, eventually lost 63-57. But Coach Matt Peog talked to me on Tuesday, so yesterday before, before this game, and he said that Teal's the type of team to not give up when it feels like it has a chance. And right now, a six point deficit that it has to overcome isn't an impossible deficit to overcome early in this game. So it's, st it's still in it and still playing like it is. Teal still playing with aggression and playing like it, it still has an opportunity. It's not out of the game yet. Colleen Trainer missed a layup on offense and then as Aaron Joyce dribbled, as Aaron Joyce dribbled across court, a whistle blew stopping play. She was being covered tightly, and Emily Harriman got hit with a foul. Her first personal, that's Teal's first team foul of the quarter. Four and a half minutes left in the second quarter. It's 24-18. Waynesburg leads Teal. Anika Dansby top of the key. Has the ball tipped away from her for a minute by Emily Harriman, but she got it back. Pass to the right wing corner, Ali Delaney. Passes into Brooke Fuller in the paint from the right lane. That's no good. But rebounded. Fuller gets her own rebound, and she missed that one. Now, uh, and, uh, uh, Andrew Orlowski got the rebound that Brooke Fuller put up. And then Orlowski couldn't put up a basket. It's rebounded by Teal. Phillips from the left wing corner off a pass. That's good. Day of Phillips with now five points in this game. And Teal now down by three with three minutes and 50 seconds left in this second quarter. And again, Waynesburg quickly moving from defense to offense. Got it to Andrew Orlowski who moved inside the paint and then was called for a travel after she tried to put up a basket. And so that basket doesn't count. Aaron Joyce was wide open on that left wing as well. And then all of a sudden, Teal takes it down and gets a three. So Teal again will have an opportunity on offense, only down three points in this game now. Three and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Colleen Trainer at the foul line, passes to the left wing corner where Breckenridge will take it to the left wing. Top of the key, there's Courtney Harriman. Pass over to Colleen Trainer at the right wing corner. Trainer will drive inside the middle of the paint. And as she tried to drive, a whistle stops play with three, and a half, uh, three minutes, 28 seconds specifically left in this second quarter. It's 24-20, Waynesburg leads Steel in this women's basketball game. It was a shooting foul, so moving to the line to shoot two is Colleen Trainer. First shot is up and first shot is good. Trainer with two points. Trainer now two for three from the free throw line.
Second shot's up, second shot is good. Colleen Trainer now has three points, and it's a one-point game in which Waynesburg leads. So here's Anika Dansby inside. She'll drive the middle of the paint. That's no good. She gets her own rebound, though, at the right-wing corner. Bounced a couple times. Tried to pass, and it was tipped by Rachel Breckenridge and then stolen by Courtney Harriman. Top of the key over to the right-wing corner where Dea Phillips will shoot a three, and that's off the right side of the rim. No good, but she gets her own rebound. Phillips from the right-wing corner inside to the top of the key. There's Emily Harriman, drives the paint. Left lane, she puts up a basket that's good. Emily Harriman with a layup. She's got four points in the game now, and it's 25-24. Teal now leads Waynesburg. Orlowski from the right wing tries to force a drive, and that's no good. Phillips with the rebound for Teal. And Teal will take it back to offense now, slowing the pace down with a one-point lead, two and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Phillips with it, top of the key now, tries to drive the right lane, but that pass is, or that ball is stolen by Anika Dansby, and Waynesburg taking it back across court. Now Waynesburg slowing down. Anika Dansby for three, oh my goodness. From the top of the key, she dribbled for a couple seconds and then took a 23-foot shot and made it from the top of the key. Dansby has six points, two of which were scored on three-pointers, and now Waynesburg leads again. It is 27-25 with... Two minutes left in this second quarter. Harriman from the top of the key drives the right lane. That's no good. That was Emily Harriman, by the way. Pass inside to Phillips. Phillips makes a move. Hits off the back side of the backboard. And it's rebounded by Wayne, uh, Waynesburg. The shot was no good. Joyce from the top of the key tries to pass inside to Casey Castro. Who gets it, but then she'll pass to around the foul line where Brooke Fuller puts up a shot. That's no good. Andrew Orlowski got a rebound. Pass out to Casey Castro. And then a drive in on a pass to Brooke Fuller is no good, but a whistle stops play with a minute and a half left in this second quarter. A foul was called on Colleen Trainer of Teal, her second personal, and that's Teal's second team foul of the quarter. And since Brooke Fuller was attempting to shoot, she will be awarded two free throws. Fuller dribbling, first shot is up and first shot is no good. Off the right side of the rim, off the backboard, off the left side of the rim and no good. Brooke Fuller entering play, 74 was 74% from the free throw line. She makes the second of two free throws. She now has 11 points total. And she's tied with Allie Delaney with the highest free throw percentage on the team. Of course, that'll change after those two shots. But entering play, they were tied at 74%. Neela Jones, top of the key, dribbles, passes out to... Rachel Breckenridge, who tries to dribble in, can't do it. Bounce pass to Courtney Harriman, though, from the top of the key. It rattles in and out of the hoop, no good. Rebounded by Brooke Fuller, and Waynesburg goes to offense. Aaron Joyce at the left wing. Pass inside, Andrew Orlowski has some space, forces herself to get in front of the net. She puts it off the backboard, and good. Andrew Orlowski with nine points, four of which have been scored in this second quarter. And it's now 30-25, Waynesburg leads Teal in this women's basketball game. 50 seconds left in the second quarter. Drive into the left lane by Emily Harriman. She puts up one off the backboard, and that's good. She's got six in the quarter. It's 30-27. Waynesburg still leading Teal, but Teal still in this game. Pass in from Elena McDermott to Brooke Fuller. Brooke Fuller missed her shot. And as she tried to get her own rebound, she had some pressure on her and mistakenly knocked the ball out of bounds past the baseline. So Teal will get a throw in, and with that, Brooke Fuller is subbed out of the game for Leighton Croft. Croft, a freshman on this team who has now participated in 22 of the 24 games Waynesburg has played in this season. But she hasn't started a single one, still been a, an adamant part of this Waynesburg team. Leighton Croft has. Teal on offense now, Neela Jones, top of the key, hands off to Courtney Harriman, who hands off to Emily Harriman at the top of the key. 11 seconds. On the game clock, eight seconds on the shot clock, a three second difference. Destiny Merriweather passes to the right wing corner where a shot from Rachel Breckenridge is no good. Casey Castro got the rebound, clock expiring. No shot by Elena McDermott as she shot it slightly after the buzzer sounded, signaling the end of the first half. But at the end of the first half, it is Waynesburg University 30, Jared Weicker 27, and a quick scoring summary rundown by Jared Weicker. Yeah, Brooke Fuller for the Yellow Jackets with 11 points.
through two quarters. Andrea Orlowski with nine points. Anika Dansby, six points, both of them three-pointers. And Ali Delaney with four points for the Teal Tomcats. Emily Harriman with six points. Rachel Breckenridge with nine points. Colleen Trainer with three. And Daya Phillips with five. And Destiny Merriweather with four points. It's 30 to 27. Waynesburg University leads Teal College in this women's basketball game. Again, 30-27 is the halftime score. This is Greenville, PA. This is women's basketball in the President's Athletic Conference. And don't forget, this is WCYJFM 99.5, the Hive. Nicholas Gallus here, Jared Weicker there. We're covering women's basketball. That seems obvious because I already said that. But at any rate, Waynesburg is beating Teal right now, 30 to 27 uh, at the end of one half. And I heard Riley Holsinger talking about Waynesburg scoring upwards of 40 to 50 points within that first half. Uh, of the last time that they played, which was back on January the 18th. But at any rate, here is here was the summary of that first half. Waynesburg had seven scores in that game back on January the 18th. And Ali Delaney had 13 points. Brooke Fuller had eight. Casey Castro had seven. Anika Dansby had six. Andrew Orlowski had five. And Elena McDermott had three. That was the game again back on January the 18th that Waynesburg played Teal. Today's game, first half scoring for Waynesburg includes five, only five scores, which include Brooke Fuller, who has 11, Andrew Orlowski with nine. Excuse me, they only have four scores, because Aaron Joyce went to the line for two and missed a couple shots, but Brooke Fuller has 11, and Andrew Orlowski has nine, Anika Dansby has six, and Allie Delaney has four. So you go from seven scores in one half to four scores in one half, the, game, the next game in the season, uh, and that really shows you the Teal still in this game. Teal, when it played Waynesburg that last time, at 19 points in the first half, compared to now 27. So Teal is scoring more points in this second game of the of the season set, uh, and Waynesburg has scored less points in the uh, in the second game of the season set. Not a good formula for winning at this point. No, certainly not, but uh, luckily for Waynesburg, you know, you're still up by three coming into the third quarter. And really, Brooke Fuller for the Yellow Jackets already with a double-double on the day. 14 total rebounds, 12 of them being on defense and 11 points. Uh, certainly a force out there so far for the Yellow Jackets. And for the Tomcats, Rachel Breckenridge with nine points leading the Tomcats in scoring in that first. Uh, first two quarters. Yeah, the scores for Teal just going overall. You said heard Jarrett say Rachel Breckenridge led with nine. Emily Harriman had six. Destiny Merriweather finished that first half with four. India Phillips finished with five after she made a layup and then a three-pointer. And then Colleen Trainer had three. But Teal has more scores through that first half. Teal had five players score points as compared to Waynesburg only having four. Again, it's 30-27, Waynesburg leads Teal going into the third quarter. Some other games around the President's Athletic Conference that we're watching out for. Geneva is playing St. Vincent. That game started at six at St. Vincent. Grove City playing at Westminster. That game was scheduled to start at six. And then Bethany playing Washington and Jefferson. That game also scheduled to start at six. All of those teams, by the way, have matchups on the men's side, uh, all double headers today. So again, the men's game will follow this women's game. We're covering the first of two games that'll be played uh, between Waynesburg and Teal tonight. It's the women's game going on right now, but Chatham has an off day today uh, as the ninth team in the President's Athletic Conference. But going back over the standings, Teal in a, in a very, it would be a complicated way, but Teal could still make playoffs with a win against Waynesburg today and a win against Geneva on Saturday. Geneva's only win this season was against Teal. Geneva with a 1-13 PAC record. Geneva in eighth place. Teal with an 0-14 record in ninth of, uh, place of nine teams at the President's Athletic Conference. 
Waynesburg with a 4 and 10 PAC record. Waynesburg will most, uh, Waynesburg can't finish below seventh place. So Waynesburg's got that seventh place spot. And again, top eight teams make it, ninth team gets eliminated. Bethany is one game above Waynesburg in sixth place with a five and nine conference record. But why these standings matter so much is that Geneva right now is, is playing St. Vincent tonight. St. Vincent's the first place team in the President's Athletic Conference. So unless St. Vincent has a slip up, assuming that St. Vincent were, would win that game, and by a chance that Teal would win this game today against Waynesburg, they would be tied with one and 14 records going into Saturday, going head to head, which could make for a very interesting bracket. Now Waynesburg's still up by three points, but I'm just kind of, my stomach's kind of circling right now at the thought that like, this might be an exciting finish because again, that ninth team doesn't make it at all. It's the top eight teams in each, in each conference for women's basketball. But nonetheless, play is about to resume. Halftime is about to conclude. Of course, don't forget Riley Holsinger will be back here on WCYJ along with Brennan Scott. They'll have the post-game show for the women's game as well as a transition into the pre-game for the men's game coming up directly after this women's game between Waynesburg University and Teal College. Waynesburg in black jerseys with orange numbers and Teal in gray jerseys with white numbers. Aaron Joyce from the left wing, tall pass in to Brooke Fuller, but it's tipped by India Phillips and stolen by Emily Harriman, and Harriman takes it across court, being guarded by Anika Dansby. Inside Harriman, left lane, puts it off the backboard, and that's good. And some excitement erupting from Teal now. Emily Harriman has eight points in the game, and it's 30-29. Waynesburg still leads Teal in this women's basketball game. Joyce on the left wing, being guarded by Breckenridge. Joyce. Tries to dribble at the foul line. She'll pass to the right wing corner where a long two is made by Anika Dansby. Anika Dansby has eight points in this game and Waynesburg extends its lead now 32-29. Nine minutes, 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass out to the left wing corner now. There's Rachel Breckenridge will take a three. That's off the backside of the rim. No good. Rebounded though by Colleen Trainer, and she made a move on Andrew Orlowski. Orlowski committed too much to one side, Trainer switched to the other and made a layup. Five points for Colleen Trainer. now her first two points of the quarter. Waynesburg still leading Teal by a point. And now a whistle blow stopping play as Waynesburg passed into Brooke Fuller. And a foul will be reported on Colleen Trainer of Teal College, her third personal. That's Teal's first team foul of the quarter and Brooke Fuller will go to the line to shoot two after the shooting foul. Fuller put up 11 in the first half, and she makes the first of two free throw attempts. Eight minutes, 45 seconds left in the third quarter. The second one by Fuller is good. Fuller now at 13. She makes two of two from the free throw line on that trip. It's 34-31. Waynesburg leads Teal in this women's basketball game. Eight and a half minutes left in the third quarter. A drive by Colleen Trainer, and her shot is picked off by Brooke Fuller. Now Waynesburg back on offense. Aaron Joyce loses possession of the ball. It's stolen by Emily Harriman. Harriman tries to pass. It's tipped by Joyce, but back into the hands of Harriman. Went right off her. And then Harriman got the rebound off of Joyce. So Teal stays with possession. Harriman at the top of the key. Dribbling left, then right. Now hands off to Courtney Harriman. Top of the key. Harriman passes out to the corner. Over to Colleen Trainer, the left wing. Trainer will drive, and with little contest, she'll put up a layup. And she'll make it. 34-33, Teal trails Waynesburg. Anika Dansby, left wing. Hands off to Aaron Joyce, the left wing. Joyce drives the middle of the paint, puts it up off the right side of the rim, no good. Brooke Fuller with a rebound. She can't get her shot to go. She'll try again after getting her own rebound for the second time in a row, and it bounces off the left side of the rim, then goes in. Brooke Fuller now with 15. It's 36-33, Waynesburg leads Teal. Drive in by Emily Harriman of Teal. Harriman off the backboard, and that didn't hit the rim at all. Went into the hands of Brooke Fuller on the rebound. Waynesburg will move to offense. Pass from Dansby. Long pass inside to Andrew Orlowski, who has her pass tipped and stolen. Her shot tipped and stolen, I should say. Colleen Trainer tipped and stole it. And then Trainer tried her own jump shot from the right wing, and that was blocked by Brooke Fuller into the hands of Waynesburg, who takes it back to offense. And now Waynesburg slows it down. Allie Delaney on the right wing. Aaron Joyce, top of the key, dribbles the right lane, pass inside, Allie Delaney up off the backboard, good. 
Allie Delaney, her first two points of the quarter. She's got six total in the game. And it's now 38-33. Waynesburg leads Teal with six minutes, 50 seconds left in the third quarter. Emily Harriman, top of the key. She dribbles the right lane, passes out to the right wing corner where Rachel Breckenridge will dribble to the foul line. She didn't have an opportunity for a shot, so she passes out to Courtney Harriman at the top of the key. Harriman drives the middle of the paint, puts it off the top of the backboard, and Courtney Harriman makes a layup and gets her first two points of this game. It's now 38-35, Waynesburg still leads Steel. Five and a half minutes left in the, or six and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Waynesburg quickly moving to offense, passes it into Brooke Fuller, and Fuller from inside the paint puts a layup up, and she makes it. It's now 17 points for Brooke Fuller, and it's 40-35, Waynesburg leads Teal. Courtney Harriman, top of the key. Over to Rachel Breckenridge, dribbles at the top of the key, now the right wing, hands off to Emily Harriman, top of the key. Harriman moves. Harriman moving to the left side of the court. She's inside the arc. She'll pass out to Courtney Harriman at the top of the key. Harriman tries to drive on Allie Delaney, finds some space, puts it up, and it's blocked by Allie Delaney. She tried for the layup, did Courtney Harriman. Again, Allie Delaney swatted it away with her right hand. Goes out of bounds past the left baseline. And it'll be a throw in for Emily Harriman. Harriman trying to find an open inbounder. The pass was intended for Rachel Breckenridge. It hit off the back of Allie Delaney. And Breckenridge got it back on the left wing and the shot clock was expiring so she put up a desperation shot that hit off the right side of the backboard. Didn't touch the rim at all so a shot clock violation gives Waynesburg possession back. Five minutes, 45 seconds left in this third quarter. It's 40-35. Waynesburg leads Teal in this women's basketball game. Dansby passes into Brooke Fuller from the middle of the paint, tries for a layup and a whistle stops play with five minutes, 37 seconds left in this third quarter. Well, the foul was called on Teal's India Phillips, her first personal foul. And that's Teal's second team foul of the quarter. And remember, five team fouls elicit double bonus time in women's basketball. Teal already at two in the quarter. And it's five fouls again per quarter that elicit double bonus time. First shot by Brooke Fuller, no good. Substitutions into the game for Teal. Neela Jones comes into the game as well as Destiny Merriweather. Second shot by Fuller's up, and that one goes through. Fuller at 18 now. It's 41-35. Waynesburg leads still in this women's basketball game. Colleen Trainer, top of the key, over to Destiny Merriweather. Top of the key again. There's Rachel Breckenridge pass to the right wing. Neela Jones will dribble around to the top of the key and hand off to Courtney Harriman. Top of the key three for Courtney Harriman. Off the front side of the rim, off, to the back, off the backboard, and into the hands of Brooke Fuller and Waynesburg. Transitions back to offense. Brooke Fuller from the foul line passes out to the top of the key. Aaron Joyce, open three from 21 feet away, off the front of the rim, no good. Rebounded it at the near sideline by Neela Jones. But as she tried to get the rebound, she couldn't hold on to it. It was stolen by Anika Dansby. Passes inside to Allie Delaney, who puts up a layup and makes it. And a whistle stop play with four minutes, 56 seconds left in the third quarter. It's Waynesburg now 43, Teal 35, and a foul reported on Colleen Trainer, her fourth personal, and that's Teal's third team foul of the quarter. And with that, Colleen Trainer will come off, and coming back into the game is Emily Harriman for Teal. Ali Delaney now has eight points in the game. She's got four points in the quarter, and she will have an opportunity to convert the three-point play. Shots up from the foul line. Shots good. And with that, a substitution for Waynesburg. Brianna Hoops comes into the game. Ali Delaney comes out. Also, Colleen Trainer was taken out because five personal fouls elicit a foul out. And that's the rules in NCAA women's and men's basketball. Emily Harriman tried to drive, but her pass was poked away by Andrew Orlowski and officially stolen by Brianna Hoops, who tried to drive the length of the field. She drove the left lane, put up a layup, and then a whistle stopped play with four minutes, 36 seconds left in the third quarter. Be a defensive foul on Teal, and Brianna Hoops will go to the line to shoot two. First one's up quickly, and the first shot's good. Brianna Hoops has her first point of the game on that first free throw, and she will look for the second. It's off the left side of the rim, and that's no good. It's rebounded by Destiny Merriweather of Teal, and Teal taking it back the other way down by that far sideline. Neela Jones dribbles back to the middle of the court. 
Mila Jones passed Emily Harriman over to the left wing corner. There's Courtney Harriman who makes a move, had some open space, but she uh, elects to drive. She'll pass out to the right wing. And Neela Jones tried for a three, but it hit off the rim and then bounced over the backboard, so Waynesburg will get possession back. Here comes Elena McDermott up the court now for Waynesburg. Newly entered into the game is she. Passes inside to Brooke Fuller, who tries for the layup. That's no good. Brooke Fuller got her own rebound. She couldn't make that one happen. And with that, she tried to get a third rebound, but she knocked it out on accident. Brooke Fuller having a tough time from the field today. She's only 46% from the field. Emily Harriman now has it for Teal. Teal back on offense, under four minutes left in this third quarter. Neela Jones, top of the key, dribbling. Takes a long two from the left wing. That's no good, but rebounded by Courtney Harriman of Teal. Passes out to the top of the key where Emily Harriman will try to dribble the left lane. She can't get any space against Andrew Orlowski. She'll pass it out to Courtney Harriman. Top of the key, Harriman trying to dribble past Brianna Hoops. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Emily Harriman, top of the key. Harriman drives the right lane. Four seconds on the shot clock. Harriman tries for a desperation layup, and that doesn't hit the rim at all. It just hits off the backboard, and then goes into the hands of Andrew Orlowski. Orlowski dribbling over to the left wing, where Elena McDermott tries to drive, but she'll pass out to the left wing, where Andrew, uh, when Aaron Joyce had an open three, and Aaron Joyce makes that three, and Waynesburg now creating a bigger gap in the score. It's 48-35. Waynesburg leads Teal in this women's basketball game. Three minutes, 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Some team summaries for you. Waynesburg, 40% from the field as compared to Teal's 28%. Waynesburg, 38 rebounds total compared to Teal's 24 and turnovers. Waynesburg with 11 turnovers compared to Teal's eight. Jared Weicker, quick scoring summary for both teams. Individual scoring summary, I should say. For the Yellow Jackets, Brooke Fuller with 18 points, Allie Delaney with nine, Andrea Orlowski still with nine from the first half, Aaron Joyce three points, and Anika Dansby with eight points, and also Brianna Hoops with one point coming from a free throw for the Tomcats, Emily Harriman is up to eight points, Rachel Breckenridge with nine, Colleen Trainer with seven, Courtney Harriman with two, India Phillips with five, and Destiny Mayweather with four. Play will resume after the timeout called by Teal. Waynesburg back on offense. No, Teal back on offense. Excuse me, Destiny Merriweather top of the key. Over to Rachel Breckenridge. Inside the paint will pass out to the left wing corner. There's a shot for three. Made by Bailey Gregor. She's got three points in this one. Her first three of the game, and it's now 48-38. Waynesburg tried on offense to score, but rebound made by... Teal and now Neela Jones takes it across court over to Emily Harriman. Over to Bailey Gregor now, top of the key, over to the left wing corner. Rachel Breckenridge now drives the left baseline, tries to put it up, but it's blocked by Waynesburg and into the hands of Andrew Orlowski. And now Waynesburg again quickly moving to offense. Elena McDermott over to the left wing corner. There's Brianna Hoops who tries to drive the left baseline. Can't do it though, so she'll pass it back to the top of the key where Aaron Joyce will dribble the right lane. Can't make the layup though. Rebounded by Rachel Breckenridge. Bounce pass over to Neela Jones. Jones dribbling the court, top of the key to the right wing she goes, and she'll pass it over to the top of the key. There's Emily Harriman. Two minutes left in the third quarter. It's a 10-point game in, Waynes in which Waynesburg is leading. Layup attempt made by Emily Harriman, and she missed, but then it was going out of bounds. She dove into the mat trying to save that, but it went into the hands of Brooke Fuller of Waynesburg, and Waynesburg now back on offense. And as Sandra Orlowski tries to take a jump shot, a whistle blows, stopping play, and a travel called down there by the official Felicia Young. And I guess that'll give us a good time to give some recognition to the officials of tonight's game. Joe Jason, Felicia Young, and Jim Settembrino. Neela Jones crosses half court. Pass to the left wing, there's Bailey Greger. 
Gregor holding it now over to Neela Jones, top of the key. Jones will pass over to the right baseline where a shot from about 14 feet away is made by Bailey Gregor, and she's got five points, all of which have been scored in this third quarter. Waynesburg now gets a three-pointer by Brianna Hoops. After three very good passes that got Hoops open, she's got four total now, and it's 51-40. Waynesburg leads Steele with a minute 10 left in this third quarter. This is a President's Athletic Conference women's basketball game on WCYJFM. Bailey Gregor inside the paint, and the whistle stops play as she passed it over to Destiny Merriweather. Clock stops with a minute two left in the third quarter. It's 51-40. And a foul called on Waynesburg. Andrew Orlowski gets hit with her first personal foul. That's Waynesburg's first team foul of the quarter. Rachel Breckenridge from the left wing. That's a three that's made. Rachel Breckenridge with 12 points on the game. After that three, it's now 51-43. Elena McDermott tried to drive the length of the court. Couldn't make the basket off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Teal, 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Neela Jones over to Rachel Breckenridge at the left wing corner. She'll drive the left baseline. And a whistle stops play as she drove with 39 and a half seconds left. In the third quarter, again, 51-43s to score, in which Waynesburg leads in the third quarter, and Rachel Breckenridge will get two free throws. Casey Castro called for her first personal foul. Again, Waynesburg has two team fouls in the quarter. First shot from Breckenridge is good. 13 points for Breckenridge. Entering play, Rachel Breckenridge had a 90% free throw percentage. That leads Teal's team. Her second one is up, and she's been perfect in today's game as well. Rachel Breckenridge has made all six of the six attempted free throws she has had. And with that, some substitutions for Waynesburg. Casey Castro got taken out. Ali Delaney comes back in. Brooke Fuller also re-enters the game with Anika Dansby. Dansby top of the key, dribbling the right wing. Trying to make some moves is Dansby. Now at the top of the key where Brianna Hoops will drive the left lane off the backboard and good. Brianna Hoops has six points now and Waynesburg extends the lead. It's 53-45, 15 seconds left in the third quarter. And the 30-second shot clock is now irrelevant. Ten seconds left in the third quarter. India Phillips has it. She's also a new substitution, but for Teal. And a long two attempted by Courtney Harriman. That's no good, and with that, the buzzer blows. She took about a 19-foot shot that was inside the arc. That went no good. Allie Delaney elected to save it rather than let it go out of bounds for Waynesburg down by that right baseline, and she tried to pass it. But Waynesburg couldn't get any collective scoring. Uh, to happen in the last three seconds of that quarter. So, yeah, it's 53-45. Waynesburg leads Teal in this women's basketball game entering the fourth quarter. And with that, some more team summary statistics coming for you. Waynesburg is 40% from the field as compared to Teal's 30%. Rebounds, Waynesburg with 41 rebounds compared to Teal's 27 and turnovers. Waynesburg has 12 turnovers compared to Teal's eight, uh, which comes as a bit of a shock considering that entering play, Teal is averaging 24 and a half turnovers per game. And Waynesburg has 19.7 rebound uh, turnovers per game, excuse me. Waynesburg 19.7 turnovers per game. And that's kind of been a storyline for Waynesburg throughout the majority of the season. Having too many turnovers and also having more turnovers in this game than a team that has some of the most turnovers on average in the entire conference. Bailey Gregor at the top of the key now for Teal, passes over to the left wing where Courtney Harriman dribbles, pass over to the left wing corner, three point shot is missed by Rachel Breckenridge, rebounded by Allie Delaney of Waynesburg. And the fourth quarter is officially underway. Aaron Joyce was not covered at all. She takes a three from the left wing. That's no good. Rebounded by Allie Delaney. Puts it off the backboard and good. Allie Delaney now with 11 points in this game. The second player from Waynesburg to reach double digits 
And it's 55-45, Waynesburg leads still in this women's basketball game. Nine minutes, 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Rachel Breckenridge, top of the key, now to Neela Jones. And Jones made a move for a second, but Felicia Young, one of the officials down there on the court, calls Neela Jones for a travel. And Waynesburg will retain possession after the travel violation. Nine minutes, 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Waynesburg leads by 10. Anika Dansby, top of the key, dribbles in the right lane, puts up a ball off the backboard that's no good, rebounded by Neela Jones. She's trying to drive the length of the court. She'll stop, move back to the right wing, try to make a three, that's no good. Rachel Breckenridge got the rebound under the hoop, pass out to the top of the key. There's Bailey Greger for three. Bailey Greger has made two threes in this game. She's got eight total points. Now 55-48, Waynesburg still leading though. Brooke Fuller. Gets a pass from the foul line. She puts up a shot in and out of the net. No good. Rebounded by Allie Delaney. And with that, a whistle stops play. It's going to be a floor foul. And it is called on Neela Jones of Teal. Neela Jones has two personal fouls now, and that is Teal's first team foul of the quarter. Neither team has reached bonus time in the first three quarters of this game. So a relatively clean game all throughout. Pass from Brianna Hoops at the top of the key inside to Brooke Fuller, and again, she can't make the shot. And it's rebounded by Teal. Teal quickly taking it the other way. Pass over to Rachel Breckenridge at the right wing corner. She tries to drive the right baseline, and with that, a whistle stops play. Eight minutes, 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's 55-48. Waynesburg leads Teal in this women's basketball game. The foul was called. on Aaron Joyce. Her first personal foul, that's Waynesburg's first team foul of the quarter. Emily, uh, Courtney Harriman had it, passed it out to the right wing where Neela Jones misses a three again. And it's rebounded by Brianna Hoops of Waynesburg. Hoops dribbling, passes over to Allie Delaney from the right wing corner, Delaney off the front of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Anika Dansby, passes inside Brooke Fuller, further inside De uh, Delaney. Had it by the right lane, and that's no good. Rebounded by Anika Dansby, and with that, a tied-up possession is called. As Dansby was contested by Neela Jones of Teal, but possession will go to Waynesburg anyway, so a moot point made there. Inbound by Dansby. Aaron Joyce from the foul line will pass back to the top of the key where Dansby is. Anika Dansby over to the right wing. There's Aaron Joyce, pass inside Brooke Fuller. Being guarded by India Phillips, but that effort was at least futile. Brooke Fuller shoots right over and makes it. Brooke Fuller's reached 20. Now 57-48, Waynesburg leads Teal. In this women's basketball game, it's the fourth quarter, seven and a half minutes left. Bailey Greger hands off to Neela Jones, and with that, another contested possession called, this time given to Teal. Neela Jones was dribbling it, and Aaron Joyce stuck her hands out and got part of the ball. Kind of grabbed it, and that's why the uh, tied up possession was called. So Neela Jones will inbound from the right baseline. Neela Jones gets a pass back by the right wing corner. She'll drive the right baseline. And that ball swirls in counterclockwise. In the basket, Neela Jones, her first two points of the game. It's now 57 50. Waynesburg still leads Teal. And Inka Dansby got a pass. Three pointer from the right wing is no good off the front of the rim. And with that, a whistle stops play as Dansby tried to get her own rebound off that front of the rim by the foul line. And a foul is to be reported. It's going to be caught on Teal's Bailey Greger, her second personal. That's way, uh, it's Teal's second team foul of the quarter. Brianna Hoops has it, top of the key. Hoops inside, Brooke Fuller dribbles. Puts it up and the uh, whistle stops play. As Brooke Fuller puts in the basket, she's got 22. So Brooke Fuller got fouled as she tried to put up that shot. And after that foul, a substitution for Teal coming out of the game is India Phillips back into the game, Destiny Merriweather. The foul was called on Teal's India Phillips. She's got two personal. She gets taken out of the game. And with that, Brooke Fuller made the and one shot. She's got 23 points now. And Waynesburg now leads 60 to 50 over Teal in this women's basketball game. And some more substitutions coming into the game. Out goes Bailey Greger. In comes Colleen Trainer. Andrew Orlowski back into the game for Waynesburg as well. Another substitution 
on the court. Here's Neela Jones coming to the top of the key. Over to Colleen Trainer. At the right wing, pass back to the top of the key. Destiny Merriweather tries to drive, but she'll pass out to the right wing corner. Shot attempted there by Colleen Trainer, but it's off the right side of the rim and into the hands of Anika Dansby. Waynesburg takes it the other way. Six and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. It's a 10 point game that Waynesburg's leading. Three point attempt from the left wing by Aaron Joyce is rebounded off the front of the rim by Courtney Harriman, and Harriman spins across half court and Teal back on offense. Rachel Breckenridge drives the right lane. Doesn't have anything going for her though, so she'll pass to Neela Jones, top of the key. And Jones tried to drive the right lane, but with that, a whistle stops play with six minutes, 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. So a foul was called on the court, reported as Anika Dansby. That's her second personal, and that's Waynesburg's second team foul of the quarter in the inbound by Teal. led to what would be a contested possession by Colleen Trainer and Anika Dansby. And with that possession, yields toward Waynesburg. Six minutes left in the fourth quarter. It's 60-50. Waynesburg leads Teal in this women's basketball game. Andrew Orlowski driving the right lane, forces her way to the basket. That's no good off the front of the rim, but she'll get her own rebound. She'll put up a second-chance shot, and that time she makes it. Andrew Orlowski, her first two points of the half, She's got 11 now in the game. Waynesburg leads 62-50, and Teal trying to move it across court a bit too rapidly, had a pass go out of bounds over the head of the two receivers it could have gone to past the left baseline, and Waynesburg will get an inbound from the left baseline and will reset on offense. And Waynesburg now up by 12 points in this one. Anika Danzer at the top of the key, overhead pass to Andrew Orlowski. Her first shot doesn't go in. Hit off the right side of the rim, but she tried again to shoot it, and that time she made it on the second try. And now Emily Harriman had it at the top of the key and she was not guarded at all. She drove the right lane and she made it. She's got 10 points now at 64-52. And offense is moving rapidly as now Andrew Orlowski got a pass by the foul line. She put it up and it routed off the rim and then went in. And now Teal had a pass go from Emily Harriman attempted for Destiny Johnson under the hoop, but she couldn't handle the pass. That goes out of bounds, and now Waynesburg quickly moving back to offense. Five minutes left in the fourth quarter. It's 66-52. Waynesburg leads in this women's basketball game. Andrew Orlowski with it. Orlowski pass in to Brooke Fuller. Puts up a shot. That goes through. Brooke Fuller now with 25 points. And back on that January the 18th game, Brooke only, Brooke scored 27. And Brooke Fuller right now at 25. So will match her total from the last time she played Teal. She and Waynesburg played Teal. Pass inside, stolen by Ann, uh, Anika, uh, <laughs> Ali Delaney. Delaney passes to Dansby at the right wing. Now over to the left wing, Aaron Joyce will pass further in to Orlowski, who puts up a layup. That's no good off the front of the rim. She tries again, and she makes it. Second chance points coming cheaply for Waynesburg. Waynesburg now with 70 points, leading till 70-52, four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Emily Harriman drives the left lane, and as she does, she gets knocked over, and a whistle stops play with four minutes, six seconds left in the fourth quarter. It'll be a shooting foul, so Harriman, Emily Harriman, will go to the line to shoot two. Substitutions for Waynesburg. Coming into the game, Casey Castro and Elena McDermott, whom will replace Allie Delaney and Anika Dansby. The foul was called on Aaron Joyce of Waynesburg. That's her second personal foul. Waynesburg's third team foul of the quarter. And Emily Harriman puts up her first of two free throws. In and out of the hoop. No good. Harriman entering play 51% from the free throw line. And now 0 for 1 tonight as she goes to the line for the first time in this game. The second shot up is off the front of the rim. That's no good. Rebounded by Casey Castro over to Elena McDermott. McDermott dribbling inside, pass out to Casey Castro, now passes back in, Andrew Orlowski under the hoop. Lost possession of the ball. She and Destiny Merriweather kind of dove for it, but neither could grasp it as it was bouncing on the ground. It goes out of bounds past the right baseline. And the official down there, Joe Jason, says that it went off Teal last, so Waynesburg will get an inbound from the far sideline. 
Andrew Orlowski gets the inbound, puts it up and good from the right lane. Put an underhanded layup in that went through. And Orlowski with now 19 points at 72-52, Waynesburg leads Teal. Courtney Harriman drives the left lane for Teal now. She tried to pass it to Destiny Merriweather. But Destiny Merriweather couldn't hold on to the pass, so Colleen Trainer picked up the overshot pass. And as she tried to get it, a whistle stopped play. Waynesburg got hit with a foul. It was Elena McDermott who got called for the foul. Her first personal, that's Waynesburg's fourth team foul of the quarter. And some substitutions into the game. Out goes Aaron Joyce and Brooke Fuller. And into the game comes Leighton Croft and Brianna Hoops, two freshmen on this team for Waynesburg. Inbound goes to Emily Harriman. And a whistle stops play. Harriman tried to make a layup, but it didn't go in. And a foul again called on Elena McDermott, her second personal. That's Waynesburg's fifth team foul of the quarter. And whether that was a shooting foul or not, Teal has automatically moved to double bonus time. And Emily Herman will go to the line for two. So because Waynesburg has reached five team fouls in this quarter, every time Waynesburg fouls Teal, whether it's a floor or shooting foul, Teal will automatically be awarded two free throws by whoever got fouled on a play. Second of two free throws for Emily Harriman's no good. Waynesburg got the rebound. Leighton Croft, right wing. Croft inside, Andrew Orlowski puts up a layup from the left lane, that's no good, and rebounded by Destiny Johnson, and with that, a whistle stops play. A foul will be reported on Andrew Orlowski. No, excuse me, Leighton Croft, I got it backwards. Leighton Croft's 31, Andrew Orlowski's 13, but Leighton Croft got called for the foul. That's her second personal foul, and Waynesburg is already maxed out at five, so Destiny Johnson will get an automatic two free throws. First one's up and good. Destiny Johnson entering play was at 45% from the free throw line. Second shot's up, and that second shot is no good, rebounded by Andrew Orlowski. Woloski had it though stolen by Emily Harriman and Teal will reset on offense. Colleen Trainer tried to drive the right baseline from the right wing corner and with that a whistle stops play at 3.03. It's 72-53, Waynesburg leads Teal again for, uh, three minutes, three seconds left in this fourth quarter. Foul was called on Waynesburg University's Casey Castrol, her second personal foul. And then again, Waynesburg already passed five fouls. So an automatic two free throws regardless coming to Colleen Trainer, who's standing awaiting for the ball, awaiting the ball at the line. First one's up, and it's off the backside of the rim, no good. Second shot coming from Trainer. It's in and out of the hoop, no good, rebounded by Leighton Croft. Waynesburg will take it the other way. Waynesburg with a 19 point lead. Under three minutes left now in the fourth quarter. Andrew Orlowski gets a pass inside. She can't get it to go, no good, but she gets her own rebound. Passes out to the foul line where Casey Cashman takes a 14 footer. That's no good, but it's rebounded by Waynesburg. Andrew Orlowski tries to put up a basket, that's no good. Andrew Orlowski attempted her own rebound and now contested possession called. Andrew Orlowski and Colleen Trainer are looking for the ball. And because that contested possession was called. Whistle stops play and Teal is yielded possession. And with that, Colleen Trainer comes out of the game and back into the game comes Bailey Greger. Teal back on offense now. Neela Jones over to Destiny Merriweather, over to Rachel Breckenridge at the right wing corner, tries to dribble. Steps out just a little bit from under the hoop. Tries for a basket, but that's off the front of the rim, no good, and a whistle stop play. After that, with two minutes, 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Still 72-53, Waynesburg leads Teal in this women's basketball game. Foul caught on Destiny Merriweather of Teal, her first per, or second personal foul. That's Teal's fourth team foul of the quarter. Leighton Croft at the left wing. Dribbles inside. And her shot got blocked by Destiny Merriweather. Destiny Merriweather came up and swatted her hand at the ball as Leighton Croft tried to put up a layup with her left hand. 
Possession will still be with Waynesburg, though, and an inbound coming from Elena McDermott at the left baseline. To Castro over to Hoops at the top of the key. Over to Leighton Croft, gets a hand off the top of the key, drives the left lane, and that layup goes off the left side of the rim, but a whistle also stops play with two minutes, three seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Teal is going to get hit with a foul. It's going to be called on Bailey Greger. Her third personal foul, that's Teal's 15th foul of the quarter, and Leighton Croft will go to the line to shoot an automatic two. It was a shooting foul, and she makes her first of two free throws. It was a shooting foul, but now in any case, any time a team gets fouled, the opposing team will get to go to the line and shoot an automatic two. Double bonus time automatically takes effect when a team reaches five fouls in each quarter. Two shots made by Leighton Croft there. Her second one went in as well. She has two points now in the game, and it's 74-53. Waynesburg still leading Teal in this fourth quarter. This is women's basketball. This is WCYJFM. Nicholas Callis and Jared Weicker on the call with you. Brianna Hoops gets a steal from Teal. She'll bounce pass into Anika Dansby inside the paint. Dansby will pass it to a wide open Elena McDermott from the top of the key. And Elena McDermott makes a three pointer. It's now 77 53. Waynesburg leads Teal. This was a 30-27 game as Courtney Harriman drives the right lane and puts up a layup for two more points for her. She's got four in the game, and 77-55 now Waynesburg leads. Leighton Croft drives up the court. That's no good. And rebounded by Neela Jones, and now Jones quickly pacing herself across court. Now she'll slow down. Top of the key and hand off to Courtney Harriman over to Emily Harriman, left wing. Now to left wing corner where Bailey Drager makes a three. 11 points for Bailey Greger. It's now 77-58. Waynesburg still leads Teal. A minute left in regulation of this game. Pass from Castro to the right wing corner. Brianna Hoops. Trying to make a three, but that's no good. It's rebounded by Casey Castro. Pass into the paint where Leighton Croft was driving the right lane. Drove the right lane. Got the pass. Driving the lane and then put up the layup. Leighton Croft now with four points in the game. And a whistle stops play. As Destiny Merriweather got hit on that layup as Leighton Croft made it. But it's 79-58, Waynesburg leads Teal in this women's basketball game with 52 seconds left in regulation of this one. Destiny Merriweather walking off under her own power and she will be substituted for after the injury. India Phillips will come back into the game to replace her. But this was a 30-27 game that Waynesburg led at halftime. And Waynesburg since found it. 79-58's the score, it's a 21 point game. Play will resume. Neela Jones got the inbound. Now Emily Harriman has it at the left wing. Pass back to the top of the key where Neela Jones tries to drive the right lane. Jones being guarded tightly by Elena McDermott. And Neela Jones put a move on Elena McDermott. McDermott fell. She committed too far to one side. But Jones couldn't put up the jump shot. It off the right side of the rim. Waynesburg got the rebound. Transitions back to offense. And with that, a whistle stops play and a travel call on Casey Castro trying to drive the right lane. So with 25 seconds left in regulation, Teal gets the ball back with the score being 79-58. Uh, Teal on the losing end of this one. Driving the left lane was Emily Harriman. She missed the shot. It got slightly tipped as it went up. And then it went out of bounds past the right baseline, so Emily Harriman will get a throw in from the right baseline. 15 seconds left in regulation. Pass goes up and it hits off the head of Brianna Hoops and it's stolen by Elena McDermott. McDermott back to Hoops at the right wing. Eight seconds left in regulation. Shot clock is irrelevant. Hoops over to the top of the key where Elena McDermott will just hold on to it. Dribble it right, left, right, left, right. And she'll hold it. Buzzer goes off signaling the end of play. Final score from Teal College. It's 79-58. Waynesburg defeats Teal in this women's basketball game. Waynesburg now moves to 5 and 10 in conference. Teal still winless in conference with an 0 and 15 conference record. Some scoring summaries quickly. First from the team side in this one. Waynesburg from the field finished with a 39% field goal percentage as a team. Teal finished with a 33% field goal percentage. Waynesburg had 62 rebounds compared to Teal's 35. 
Waynesburg had 14 turnovers compared to Teal's 15, so Teal won the turnovers battle in that one. Not quite a good thing, but... And then second chance points. I mean, this one quite lopsided. Waynesburg had 30 second chance points opportunities. And Teal had 11. And also a note coming from the assistant sports information director. His name's Jason. Very nice man. But uh, Brooke Fuller finished with 25 points and 21 rebounds, which means that she's finished with a double-double in this one, and that's not the first time she's done that this year. Jared Weicker, offensive scoring summary coming from him right now. All right, for the Jackets, Brooke Fuller, of course, as you mentioned, 25 points. Ali Delaney, 11 points. Andrea Orlowski, 19. Anika Dansby with 8 points. Aaron Joyce with 3. Elena McDermott with 3 points. Leighton Croft with 4 points. And Brianna Hoops with 6. For the Tomcats, Rachel Brecken Breckenridge finishes the game with 14 points. Colleen Trainer 7. India Phillips, five points. Emily Harriman with 10 points. Courtney Harriman with four points. Nyla Jones with two points. Destiny Mer Mer Merriweather with five points. And Bailey Gregor with 11. For Jared Weicker, I'm Nicholas Callis saying so long, but don't worry if you're also interested in men's basketball, we'll be back covering that game as well. So stick around if you want to listen to that. But right now we're going to send it back to Waynesburg, Pennsylvania, where Riley Holsinger and Brennan Scott will recap the women's game as well as transition to the pregame for the men's game. All here on WCYJFM 99.5 The Hive, your home for everything Waynesburg. <laughs> 